and we are back to some more Java programming and finally with a headset and a micro microphone so you won't hear all the noise from my computer. And last time we looked at how to create tables in our Word document. So now we are looking at how to change height, change background colors and maybe change the text itself in a table. And sadly you can't do as much as you could do on a Word document. And some things that are supposed to work in there at least didn't work for me. Uh, hopefully those bugs are getting fixed or it's just me who didn't figure out how to use it. But I'll show you what I figured out what works. And I'll just start by changing the background color. So we can do that by saying, let's say cell zero. Let's change the cell zero background to, so I'll say cell zero dot set color. As a parameter, it asks for a string, which is again the hexadecimal uh, color. So I'll set it to, let's see. Uh, wait a moment, I'll set it to FF9900. So that's red with a little bit of green. Oops, wait, what happened? Oh, that's that's right. I Ah, no, stop it. I did it. Shoot. Sorry, I put in one a zero too much. All right, let's 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 start this over again. So FF9900 is hopefully a little bit of green with a lot of red. Let's see what that looks like. And, oh, yeah, it's kind of a brown thing going on here. All right, so that's how you change the background color. So what else you can see is that the text in there is pretty much crunched in there. So let's maybe insert some margins. We can do that by saying uh, table dot set cell margins. And there are going to be four parameters going counterclockwise, so it starts from the top and goes to the left, bottom, right. So I'll just set it to 200 everywhere and that should be enough space for our text in there. I'll run that. And you can see that there's now a margin for our text. And you can also manually change the height of the table or of the cell of the row, I mean, <laughs> of course. So you can say, um, oops, didn't want to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, row zero dot set height and set that to, let's see, 500 maybe. And uh, apparently you were also able to change the width of the table or of the cell, but for me it didn't work out, sadly. So I tried to do that by saying table dot uh, set width to an integer or set uh, column band size, but nothing worked for me. I don't know if I did something wrong or if there's just a bug, a bug, a bug in the uh, in the appliance, but hopefully that's going to be fixed. And you can see that the row slightly changed its height. So I'll set that to maybe a little bit more. Let's set it to 1000. And then we should see the difference. Yeah, so now you can see that the height changed. All right, so let's see what else we can do. We can also change the text color and the text font. And to do that, we have to create a paragraph. And so that's nothing new for us. So we know how to create a paragraph. Uh, I'll do that for the cell one. So I'll say uh, XWPF paragraph. And I'll call it mm, par equals to cell one dot add paragraph. And then we have to create our run. 
and I'll call it run equals to uh, par dot create run and I think I still have to import wait did I get them wrong oh I forgot the R in there so let's import that and let's import the run as well and then I'll delete the cell1.set text and instead say run dot set text to um, and I'll set it to ice cream and then from there we can of course change the font family to Arial Black ah, Arial Black and then we can also change the font size no no god damn it F set font size to 25 and then do all the stuff we already have done a couple of tutorials ago uh, so we can say set no set bold to true so let's see what that looks like and as you can see there is now a huge text saying ice cream and it's also bold arrow black and has the size of 25 so that's almost everything you can do with a table you can also change uh, the border but that's kind of weird to do so I'll just show you what you can do um, you can say table dot set inside H border or inside V border so H border is the horizontal borders and the V border is the vertical borders and then you can say xwpf uh, border type dot I'll set it to double I'll say set the size to 3 space to 2 and the RGB color to let's give it a blue color 0000 BB so that should be a oops wait border I oh I have to import that sorry about me okay let's run it again and now there should be the inner horizontal border a dark blue with a size of 2 and that's basically everything you can do you can also change the uh, vertical, bo uh, vertical border uh, but for some reason you can't change the outer borders or I didn't figure out how to do that um, I hope they change that soon um, but that's it for now I hope you enjoyed if you have any suggestions for me what I should do or if you figured out that I did something wrong or that I'm just uh, that I just wasn't smart enough to figure out how to change the outer border size uh, outer borders or change the uh, width of our border just leave a comment below telling me or screaming at me with cap caps lock at what I should have done and I guess that's it for this tutorial hope you liked it and that's it for now thanks for watching bye